Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fiora. How are all you guys doing? Who is ready to see the most epic amount of bullshit ever done? Because from the start of this match to the end of this match, the Fiora magical bullshit machine is going to be completely turned the hell on. No questions asked. By the way, it's very highly likely that we'll be going back to using the live recording starting this week, which means that I will not be playing music during my live streams. That is so I can preserve the live stream for later. But in the meantime, I am driving a Fox, one of my favorite AFVs. So much my favorite, I have battle-hardened it and given it camouflage. And that is an enemy Fox. And this looks like it's going to be an excellently interesting match as I rip apart an LAV 300 with my little clip and duck back. We're just getting started. Oh, he didn't last long. And he's gone too. Now, as you guys can see, I'm being incredibly aggressive here because I want to be. I want to eat some giblets. And the only way you eat giblets in a fox is if you're aggressive. You're like, Fiora, it doesn't have any armor. Right, but it dodges. And that's the important thing, dodging. It is better to dodge damage than to attempt to soak it. Let's put it in those terms. Because dodging it means that there's no chance that it will actually hurt you. Hello, enemy fox. I only got one hit out of that. Are you serious? Ah, uh, Gerfloggle. And there's a swing fire up here as well. Oh, you have been mocked, sir. You may wish to run. And I spot him real quick, but he does spot me back. Wow, once again, Lucky Fox only takes one hit from me. Granted, he's not that lucky, because that was near a max damage roll. As his mark had already dropped, and I go, you know what? Screw it, I'm going in. Open up with the swing fire to make him duck his head, and I go up and over, and I keep going. Keep right on trucking. And this is the moment when I realize, uh, we might just have this match down to a science. Hello, swing fire. Goodbye, swing fire. It's nice knowing you. Not really. But I just figured I'd say that. Before I blew you to kingdom come. Ready? Wait for it. Back the hell up. And he just crashed. LOL! The chieftain fell off the bridge in such a panic. Hello T64. Oh, I'm spotted? Wait, you're still spotted after I threw smoke? Well then let's get the missile ready. Ready? Aim. Release! And wait for it. Second round! Too late, 64! You're done! Which means this fox is down here alone, and I damn well know it. Now, right now, we are kicking their asses. He's already fired his clip. I took my time to make sure my shots would be properly lined up, mostly, and then open fire. We're winning right now on this encounter match, and holy crap at the rubber bands. Dear Obsidian, fix your shit! This is why we're switching back to the live gameplay replays instead of continuing to use the replay system. There's no fixing it, by the way. I have the encoder down to 4200, still having issues. And I get this lined up on the back of this chieftain. And fire one, and fire two. And those low rolls let him live. It's important to remember that those low rolls let him live, and it's going to be very important later in the match, because I'm foreshadowing this shit. I try to take some cheap shots at the commander's hatch, hoping to take him out that way, but it doesn't quite work out. And we're now up against nothing but main battle tanks. So I decide, you know what? I'm an AFV. This is an encounter match. They have to come out of that city and go to that map area in order to kill us. I'm running. And as you can see, the chat has pretty much deteriorated into people telling each other to fuck off and calling each other shitters and all those other forms of 
insultment they can fling because our team is managing to blow this. Down to five to six. The enemy team is making a comeback, and they're making a comeback with a vengeance. Here's my thing, though. I know that if I can pick off these MBTs one or two at a time, we'll be in great shape. I see a Chieftain Mark VI. He doesn't see me yet. I mark him and then release the missiles. There's one hit. There's two! Ooh! He ain't happy! He is, however, one of the most lethal players on the enemy team, having four kills to my three right now. And I go, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. It would be nice if the T-64 would have got into the fight. It really would. But I, at the moment, realize that they are coming up there to look for me, and it would be better if I ran the hell away. So running away, getting distance, and I get spotted. Actually, I haven't been spotted yet. It is when I get up here and get set up to fire missiles that I'm actually spotted. So I keep moving. Woo! That was close. I've already blown my smoke grenades to get the kill on the T-64 earlier. Currently have three kills. There are currently six enemy tanks. And this is bad. Fire missile. Good night. T-72, you are dead. And I am reloading missiles again. Because I want to make sure there's two in the chamber. Now count my missiles. I fired two, four, six. That was seven. I only have three missiles left. That's it. That's all I got. This ain't looking good. At all. And that Chieftain Mark VI has just scored another kill. Proving to be one of the most lethal opponents I have right now. Okay, come on, come on. Way to leave the Sheridan to die. You know what? The Sheridan made a critical tactical error and I chose to let him die. I'm sorry. There's that chieftain again. I get the missile loaded up and I go, oh shit, that's a, be that's a much be bigger problem. Mark the target to make sure that it is only going to take me a single missile. Get positioned up. And fire. Uh, no, shit, it bounced. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's dead. I have him spotted. Wait for it. Ricochet! Wait, what? Yeah, the Chieftain Mark V. The second uh, just just ricocheted me. However, this is a critical thing now. That was missile number nine. I'm down to one missile and auto cannon rounds. And these guys set it up for me brilliantly when they go after that T64, and I wind up killing both of them. But now I'm left with a choice. There's a Chieftain Mark V who knows I'm here, who wants me. And there's a T-72 who's at a lot of hit points. I start to get set up with the missile on the T-72. And then I go, wait, no. No, 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 no. That chieftain will block my autocannon anywhere but the rear. The T-72, I'm going to have to wait for my opportunity and go in on didn't think I could hit you. I hit you before, right in the ass. You didn't think I'd set it up again. So I'm going in. Full tilt. Chieftain sees me, but is not in a position to help his friend, and I come up right behind this guy. One, two, three, four, five, dead. And keep right on going. Whew! Okay. Now we're still shaking. Oh, God! Don't kill me! I want to live! I want to live! Wait, was that another bounce? Did I just bounce you a second time? He's very pissed off that I apparently get a magazine, but he does realize that I can't hurt him from the front. Now I get the missile ready. Because I've only got one. I've got a single shot. Right now. And if I miss it, I decide to tell him, oh, by the way, this is live. If I miss this one shot, 
I'm not going to be able to kill that chieftain. I spot him. He spots me through the buildings. And I can start to get set up and I go, you know what? No, he could poke around and actually do something about me. I spot him there, but he spots me right here. And I stop. Got it! And he missed me! He missed me! Oh, that poor chieftain. There's a third missile I had to put into that MBT to kill it! <sighs> Nine kills! Nine kills! I'm shaking now. Why am I shaking now? I'm not actually playing! I was giving people heart attacks, by the way, by the end of that match. Let's go take a look at the final stats for that particular match before you guys riot to see just what kind of havoc and chaos the little fox is. Alright, so here we have it. The little fox that could. And what do we have exactly? 6,417 damage, 57 base defense points, 9 kills. Ace tanker, gold star, and recon. Because... Every one of my targets, except one, that I blasted, I was the one spotting them. The only exception was that T-64 at the beginning that I threw down smoke so he couldn't see me while I blasted him with a pair of missiles. Also, this poor Chieftain Mark VI I did 1,300 to, and the other Chieftain Mark I, have, I almost did 1,300 more to. I have got to be pissed! However, I will fully admit that uh, one, two of my kills were pretty damn good, were cheap shots against MBTs, and this was not entirely my doing with the Fox. Good job, team. Same thing for the Swing Fire. I would have never known it was there if somebody else hadn't spotted it. But I also got some assist damage against the uh, Fox that I marked early on, and he got blown the fuck up. <sighs> so, here we have it. 12 spots, 2 assists, 9 kills. 4,300 experience? What? Holy crap! What exactly did I do here? So we know I did that much damage. We know I fired 61 shots, only 33 penned. Good god, auto cannon, please shoot straight sometimes. I only got two assists. I spotted a bunch of people, but most of this was just me delivering damage. Raw, uncut damage with all ten of my missiles that I had to fire in order to pull this off. Out of missiles and a quarter of my autocannon rounds gone. We won! So what did you guys think? Did this video teach you how to box? Because if it did, wonderful. Um, one bit of advice before we close out. To steer the fox properly, one must let off the accelerator. And then steer. Instead of holding the accelerator while steering. Other than that, once you train yourself to do that, you're, you'll be amazing in it. But, in the meantime, if you had a good time. If you liked this video. If it taught you something. If you want me to know that you enjoyed it. There's a like button down there that you should fire all 10 of your Milan missiles at. If you'd like to see more stuff by me, Fiora, there's a big red subscribe button. Go click it. Go on. Click it. Click it. You know you want to. You, you, you're doing it already. You might have already done it. Do it. If you'd like to see the previous Epic Match of the Week, it's right there. It's over there. It's all to my left, not to my right. To your left, Fiora. To your left. To your left. To your left. To your left. It's over that way. And, if you'd like to support the channel, because I know all of you would, you can do so through Patreon. All for a dollar a month, and after two months you have a chance to become a moderator for my live streams. That's the primary reward right there. However, I do need to start holding the monthly patron meeting, which I'm going to have to figure out how to do. Suggestions. Um, if you'd like, leave a comment. Comments below. If you want to submit a match to me, make sure you take your screenshots and send it to me via FioraTheTankGirl at gmail.com. Emails in the description below as well. If you like keep up with me you can do so through all the social media and steam stuff down in the description at the bottom and uh i think that's everything oh and also if you don't have money but want to support the channel anyway you can check out the sponsor at the end of the video click on the ad and see if you like it who knows you might find something you buy in the meantime for my house 
to yours. This is Fiora, and I'm going to be signing out for right now, and I will see all of your lovely faces on live stream this afternoon. Bye-bye, everyone!